how to rebuild a Linode server with a fresh Linux distribution. The first thing you need to do is sign into your Linode account to be taken to your Linode's dashboard. In here, locate the Linode that you want to rebuild. In my case, it's going to be demo-server. To the right of that Linode, you should see three horizontal dots Click on the three horizontal dots icon. You will then be greeted with a drop down menu. Look for where it says rebuild and click on rebuild. You'll then be greeted with a window which says rebuild Linode and then your Linode server name. In my case, it's demo server. If you can't rescue an existing disk, it's time to rebuild your Linode. There are a couple of different ways you can do this. Either restore from a backup or start over with a fresh Linux distribution. Rebuilding will destroy all data on all existing disks on this Linode. So keep this in mind guys, if you do proceed with a rebuild of your Linode, you will erase all the data on your Linode server. So make sure you've backed everything up before you continue with the rebuild. The first option here is from image. So click on this arrow here, where if you don't want to rebuild from an image, you can rebuild from a community stack script or from an account stack script. I'm going to be rebuilding from an image. Underneath, you need to select the image, click on the arrow, and then choose the operating system that you want to have a fresh install of on your Linode. I have an Ubuntu 22.04 LTS operating system installed, and I'm going to be going with the same operating system once again. So I'm going to choose 22. 0.04 LTS and that's an Ubuntu operating system. Next we'll need to choose a root password for our Linode. So I'm just going to enter one in here. Once you've picked your Linode root password, you have the option also to add SSH keys if you want. So here's the button to add an SSH key if that's something you want to do. I'm not going to bother with this. I'm going to continue with the root password and then underneath you'll need to confirm these changes. Type the label of the Linode. In my case it's demo-server. Your Linode name will be in brackets here in this field below. So all I'm going to do guys is copy the in brackets here by highlighting it, right clicking on it and then clicking on copy. I'm then going to paste it in here into this text box. Once you've done that, all that's left to do is click on rebuild Linode. Linode will then begin the rebuilding process by installing the fresh operating system that you selected. In my case, I chose a version of the Ubuntu image. I'll be back with you guys once the rebuild process has completed and we have reached 100%. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, our status is green which means our Linode server is now running. And as you can see, the IP address of our Linode server after the rebuild is exactly the same. So now I'm going to log into my server just to show you how it looks like after a rebuild. So I'm going to click on the copy button next to my server's IP address to copy the IP address. Now I'm going to minimize my browser. I'm going to open up my SSH client, which in my case is putty by double clicking on it. I'm going to paste in the IP address of my server and I'm going to click on open. You'll then be greeted with a putty security alert which says warning, potential security breach. This is not true guys. We're getting this warning message because we have rebuilt our Linode server and therefore the server's host key that we cached with putty has now changed to a new one. And that's why we're getting this putty security alert. So you have the option to accept and cache the new server's SSH host key, connect once or cancel. I'm going to click on accept. Once that's done, click on the maximize button here to maximize the terminal window. Now we'll need to log in as, and that's of course going to be root and then hit enter on your keyboard and then paste in your password or type it in. If you're going to paste it in, simply right click to paste. If you're going to type it in, do so now. Once you've done that, hit enter on your keyboard and you'll be successfully logged in to your Linode server that you have freshly rebuilt. So now you can start fresh with the same Linode server IP address. All right, so that pretty much concludes the video on how to rebuild a Linode server with a fresh Linux distribution. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Is it so I to let you go?